previously on Shooting for the Scars. I arrived in LA. I got my first glimpse of the good life. Well, not exactly, but a good start toward it. So it's official. The big fish has finally left the small pond. I'm sure I'll probably never find a peach cobbler meaner than Grandma Foster's out here, but that red carpet isn't gonna roll itself out under my feet. Oh. Hey Ma, your check came today, and I know I was supposed to use it to buy a new couch, but I figure the economy being the way it is, why spend it if I don't have to? So I picked up a freebie on Craigslist. Free delivery too, you can't beat that. And check out this killer queen I got. I picked it up not in a store, but leaning up against a wall on the side of my street. Oh, hey, Anya. Just some vlogging for fam and friends. Here, come here, say hello. Come on, come here. Hello. There you have her, ladies and gentlemen. My roommate, your sex kitten and everyone's favorite, aspiring European actress, Anya Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a keeper. Oh, shut it. So, anyway, I landed my first gig in the entertainment industry as a production assistant on the Dr. Phil show. They call me PA, and I think it sounds kind of cool. Hey, movie star, so you met Dr. Phil? Yeah, I know Dr. Phil and his people. He knows your name? <laughs> yep, he acknowledges me every time he sees me. Hey, Dr. Phil, big fan. Nice to meet you. My name's. Get off the phone and make yourself useful! Gotta love showbiz. But seriously, Dr. Phil, he is a giant teddy bear. And I don't believe a word they say about him. However, when it comes to the production game, there's only one word I know. Initiative. You, you go to college? A lot of good it did you, huh? Janitor. Yeah, but I 